I saw a documentary about a woman who was 28 stone, right? Because she ate 10 pie and chips a day. That'll do it. Mm. <laughs> 10 separate meals of pie and chips. That's all she ate. 10 separate trips to the chip shop in a cab. <laughs> Didn't even walk that. Wasted calories. So they wired her jaw together. So she liquidised 10 pie and chips a day. <laughs> now she's on pie smoothies. Now, now she's not even chewing. That used up five calories. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so she gets fatter. They take her to hospital to have that operation where they staple your stomach together. And she's sitting in the hospital looking all depressed. <sighs> well, you can't eat for an hour before an operation, can you? <laughs> and she went, it's a really dangerous procedure but it's the only option left. <laughs> One, jogging? <laughs> you don't even walk. Um, salads? You don't like the taste. Right. Nine pie and chips a day? <laughs> it's a start, isn't it? It's a starter to it. <laughs> I'm not having a go. I'm a bit overweight myself. The other night, someone shouted, no shit. Oh. I thought, could be that. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? You go to the doctor, he goes, no, you're not fat, you're constipated. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go to the doctor to have a medical for this tour. Um, and uh, I've had medicals before for TV work. They check your pulse and go, yeah, fine, you're not going to die in the next three weeks. And, but I always think, what if I fail the medical? What if I say, no, you're not fit enough. You can't do the TV work. Then I see Johnny Vegas on telly and I think, I'm all right. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's like my canary down the mine. <laughs> if I'm in a restaurant, I go, do you want a pudding? I go, is Johnny Vegas still alive? I go, yeah, I go, bring it on. OK, now. <laughs> so I went along to Harley Street, and the doctor said, uh, it's a bit more thorough than usual. It's a big tour. So we need a urine sample. I went, fine, yeah. So he gave me the little thing in the bag to put it in. I did that. Gave back to him, good as gold. He went, oh, can you strip down to your boxer shorts? I thought, well, this is thorough. I don't have to do that before. But I stripped down to my boxer shorts. Oh, for fuck. The one day I wear white boxer shorts. <laughs> Big wet patch from the wee. <laughs> oh, Why didn't he warn me? Why didn't he say, be careful, I'll be checking your pants in a minute? He's, you know. <laughs> and there's nothing I could do. I just stood there and it was. It, <laughs> And it was one of those pairs just had a slit, and I tried to sort of pull it over. <laughs> and it pinged back, and he, he saw it. I saw the moment he saw it. There's nothing I could do. And I was thinking, oh, sorry, he's a doctor, he can't tell anyone. And then I thought, if I was a doctor, I'd tell everyone everything. <laughs> I would. I'd come and go, you'll never guess what I found up an arse today. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to tell everyone. And I had, to, <laughs> I had to touch my toes as well, which sounds all right in front of a doctor, but it's still a man you haven't met before in pants that you've wet. <laughs> so you feel really vulnerable and just <laughs> and you try and make everything look okay in the doctors don't you they go does that hurt definitely not definitely not touch your toes easy right and the truth is i've got to that age where i have to make a sort of noise to get me up and down now do you know what i mean <laughs> that didn't happen in your 20s 20s bang 30s bang. 40s you go <laughs> why do you do that i think it's a warning to family and friends that they hear that i go oh granddad's bending over and he's up, on with the barbecue. But, uh, <laughs> but, but things happen with age. But it's good and bad. I'm at that age now where it's totally acceptable for me to back in a lorry driver I've never met before. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If you're 20 and really skinny, they go, fuck off, mate. <laughs> but I can go, you all right, you all right? <laughs> go on, go on, whoa! Be careful, plods around the corner. <laughs> and, do you do that? Do you sort of be a bit more working class, a bit tougher with, like, people in boiler suits? All right, mate, yeah. Not too bad, yeah. <laughs> Draw a cup of fucking tea. Like that. <laughs> anyway, I wet myself. Good. <laughs> After I came back, I told my friend about the wee incident, and my friend went, oh, you should have gone commando. What? <laughs> that would have been less embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> so now I look down, I think, oh, I wet myself, what can I do? Oh, I know, they're coming off too. That's as dry as a bone dock. <laughs> Should have gone commando. 
Do commandos not wear pants? Why do com they must wear pants, don't they? Yeah. Why aren't you wearing pants? What? I'm a commando and I'm wearing pants. I'm I've never heard that phrase before. I've never heard that phrase. <laughs> They're gonna see that. <laughs> Just a little bit. Should have gone commando.